Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I want to talk to you about Scene Explain. This is a Chat GPT-4 or a Chat GPT Plus plugin that you can now download. And it's very similar to Midjourney and other where you can describe with text. You can reverse engineer out the description from an image. Look at this. I've got a bulldog here with a cup of coffee and like these butterfly type look in his ears. And I asked chat gpt using the scene explain plugin to explain to me what this image looks like and here's what it came up with it says the image you provided is a vibrant and eclectic photograph that blends multiple subjects and elements into a single captivating scene at the center of the scene is a charming french bulldog with an adorably wrinkled face check that's correct the bulldog is sitting on a stool he is not or she is not but in the original image before i cropped it there was a stool and it holds a cup of coffee in its mouth which is pretty close as well and there you go. So I basically reverse engineered what the text is, or if you're doing um, if you're doing uh, prompt generation or AI art generation, what the uh, prompt is that you can use to create something like this. This was done in Adobe Firefly, for example. And uh, yeah, let me show you how to use it. So the first step here is you need to go. Let's just create a new chat and start from scratch. First step: make sure you're selected on GPT-4, like I've got here. Now go down to the plugins. Click on the plugins and make sure that there's a check mark beside plugins. When you do that, you're going to see this little square, this little rectangle here. And you can now click on that and it'll tell you what plugins are installed. I've got Scene Explain installed. There's a check mark beside it. You can click on the plugin store and you can always click on installed. And if it is not installed, you just want to basically search for it right here. Just type in Scene and presto, you can install it. Click on the install button. That's it. Okay that out of the way here comes a bit of the there's two things you can do with this plugin the first one is you can basically go ahead and find an image on the internet and have it describe that that is the easiest way and that's the way i recommend in most cases unless you have your own images that you want to show and i'll show you how to do that as well so here we go i just went on to twitter and one of the images that popped up was this one here mark andreessen has got an image here on twitter what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on this image and then I'm going to go to copy image address. It's very important that you copy the image address, not save it or any of those other things. Copy image address, go back into chat GPT. Again, making sure scene explain is available and used and being used and go explain this image. Semicolon, command V, copy paste it in and scene explain is going to go ahead and do its best job to try and explain that image off the internet. So that is the first one. The second one, while we wait for that, is I want to show you the second method. And there are no doubt many ways to do this, but the way I found that worked best was using this free website called Image Tree. Image Tree allows you to d drop and uh, basically just drag and drop one of your own images. So in this case, I'm going to do the same image as last time. I'm going to grab my pictures, and then I'm going to grab this JPG of this little bulldoggy doing bulldog things drinking coffee drag and drop it right there when it's done i'm going to click on upload and then it's going to upload it and then when i look at it you're going to see here that i can go ahead and do a few things but when i go when i scroll down you're going to see here that it gives me an image url so just keep that in the back of your head let's go back to the original so this one and this is the original image take a look at it here this is what scene explain has told us about the image it depicts an ethereal landscape showing a futuristic vision of a metropolis suspended in an endless expanse of blue with oversized structures. Okay, so you know what? It, it hit the nail on the head here pretty good. So that's the first method. The second method that I was partly showing you is we've gone ahead and uploaded an image to Image Tree. Again, this is one of many ways you can do it. This is just a way that works pretty quickly for me, and this is free. So now I'm going to click on Copy. So I've got that URL. I'm going to go back into ChatGPT, and then I'm just going to do the same thing. Explain. And then I'm going to copy and paste in the URL for that image. And when it does that, Scene Explain is going to get cooked up here. Look up here. You'll see here when I will look at the previous one, you'll see exactly what it did. You can click on this little drop down triangle and it says image. And then it says response from Scene Explain. And here is the explanation if you want to just copy and paste that. So there you go. So now we're using Scene Explain for the final one here. And it should just take a quick second. Come on. Okay, well, it's taking a little longer than I expected. I'm going to have to speed this up in post. All right, welcome back. So I actually had to run it twice. The first time, it uh, looked like it timed out due to a technical issue, which was interesting. 
But the second time, I'll just give you a quick overview. It features a charming French bulldog resting on a wooden surface. Let's take a look at the original image. Okay, it was he was sitting on a chair in the original image before I cropped him, I believe. Holding a cup of coffee with its sturdy paws. Okay, even though those paws have one too many um, lines in it. The dog has a white coat with black spots. Okay, I'm not seeing that. And distinct wrinkles around its forehead and mouth. Okay, that's bulldoggy. And it displays an endearing, alert expression. So the, d the description is not perfect, but there you go. That's how you do it using uh, Scene Explain. Thanks for watching.